Z-scores are a popular way to standardize and scale your data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate Z-scores by hand. We'll use Python in order to demonstrate that by hand calculation. This will essentially be an online version of a by hand calculation. We won't rely on any of the packages that you might typically use to calculate Z-score. This is so that we can learn together exactly how to calculate Z-score, what goes on under the hood when we use those packages. There are other ways to scale and standardize your data. I'll have other videos on those. This one is focused on the Z-score. My name is Adam Ross Nelson, and I'm a data scientist. Thanks so much for tuning into this video today. My name is Adam Ross Nelson, as I said, and if we haven't met, I'm so glad to meet you now. Be sure to hit subscribe and also hit the bell button so, when you, so you will see when other videos become available. On the screen behind me, I'm typing out the code to demonstrate how to calculate z-scores. I'm importing pandas as pd, I'm importing numpy as np, and then I'm also entering some fictional data. As you can see, this fictional data consists of age and height. I have seven people and their age range is 10 to 20. The height range for this population is four feet to six feet. I have very carefully arranged the data so that we will know the mean of this data just by looking at it. The mean age is 15 and the mean height is five feet. And that's important because we need to know the mean and we also need to know standard deviation in the process of calculating a z-score. By using round numbers, I've simplified the math in order to help demonstrate the main concepts that are at work under the hood here. Here, I have shown the data frame, and before that, I've given output and also stored that output in variables. I've stored the mean and the standard deviation for the variable age. Let's go ahead and add a new column to this data frame. I'm going to call it age underscore temp, and age underscore temp is going to tell us the difference between age and the mean of that particular variable. We're going to do that by subtracting the mean from the variables. Now, let's take a look at the output of the data frame. Let's take a look at this output. Probably the first place to look to help you best understand what just happened here is, let's look at the mean observation. So the observation that was right at the mean. So what happens when you subtract the mean from 15? Now recall that the mean is 15. That takes the new value down to zero. Looking at the other observations, look at the first observation. When you subtract 15 from 10, of course, you get negative 5. Looking at the last observation, when you subtract 15 from 20, you end up with positive 5. The next step in calculating z-scores will be to divide the new column by the standard deviation. Let's do that now on the screen. Now that we've made the calculation, we've also displayed the data frame with two new columns. Here on the far right column, we have our z-scores. Let's again take a look at the middle observation, the observation that was right at the mean. When we subtract the mean, of course, 15 from 15, we end up with 0. And then when you divide by the standard deviation, well, when 0 is divided by anything, you end up with 0. This tells us that this observation was a distance of 0 from the standard deviation. Now let's take a look at the first and the last observations again. The first observation person was 10 years old. First, we subtracted the mean, we got negative 5, and then we divided by the standard deviation. And we ended up with negative 1.404. This tells us that that observation was 1.404 standard deviations below the mean. Likewise, with the last observation, we see that it was 1.404 standard deviations above the mean. So this video demonstrated how to calculate a standard deviation, and it also shows the math that is happening under the hood whenever you ask the computer to automatically calculate z-scores for you. This video also hopefully helps you understand the nature of z-scores, exactly what a z-score is, a little bit more clearly. A z-score, in the simplest terms possible, tells you how far away that observation was from the mean. If it's a negative score, it was below the mean, and if it's a positive score, it was above the mean. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, you're more ready than you think you are. Hit subscribe, check out these other videos, and let's connect. I look forward to being in touch.